Hunter X Hunter, episode 141. This was a fun one. A lot was going on here. We didn't quite get into the fight as far as I would have liked with Ahsoka and Goto. But anyway, so right at the beginning, Pion, you know, with the bunny ears, reminding us again that, hey, if you go to Hunter X Hunter's website, you can watch Gein get knocked out by Lorio again. And she's like, Pylon, tell everyone. They absolutely have to watch it. And then we get the Pariston and the Hunter, the, the chairman vote. Now, they really break down, like, their personalities, what they're trying to do. If you notice, the Zodiacs with the voting, the family members and everything in here, is Togashi has, has graphed this all this stuff out. So he knows. So he can just go, okay, this is the personalities. This is how they're, this is the factions. Like, the Zodiacs, he didn't, they're not just, here's his person, here's his abilities. It's what factions, how they want the, the association to be changed or stay the same or what kind of changes they want to make so it's really interesting stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and skip past that we can talk about that more in the hangout uh, Killua and Aluka right there once again it's the writing of Tagashi the association chart right and it goes you know of course and it isn't just you know Aluka it's how everybody else is is you know the family you know relates to each other and you kind of see a lot of it is the father kind of has a deal and then the mother right they 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 love each other but the, they, they tend to have different people that like or dislike them it's pretty intense and uh, even uh, you know Saboni she's like <laughs> you know uh, and Amani right they both interact with Aluka right just like the father interacts but you know it's not quite to the love level so that was pretty interesting and uh, also uh, Kaluto is also someone that is not to the love level but interacts with uh, Luca, so that was kind of interesting too. Now, motivation, right? What are the phone, family's motivations for everything that's like going on with Luca? So that's explaining the conflicts. Kilo and Kilo's motivation is, of course, to save Gon and free Luca, which is that's going to be interesting. Now, the phone call with Alumi, he he reminds Kilo the family does not see Luca as family, so therefore is not protected by the family off limits rule and that's Killa was like oh and then the immediate um, car chase 18 wheeler you know from Illumi's you know human puppets that was that was awesome it, it was really nice to see it animated and the iron guard <laughs> in the car is okay it's over the top it's way over the top but still I mean the whole thing was highly entertaining really enjoyed it like I say an 18 wheeler too and <laughs> even if Soak was like that was a little excessive, you know. And then, and then the whole thing. Ahsoka is always playing his own angles, right? And he's like, uh, you know, can I kill Killua? And Alumi goes, <laughs> he goes off, right? And of course, that aura, you know, everybody sees it, so they're warned. And and you know, so he did it on purpose, you know, because he wants to save Gon, right? He he wants Gon to grow up so he can fight him. I mean, yeah, that's that's the story now. And Killua goes in Godspeed and escapes from the Butlers, which is awesome. Now, Sabone, not a fan of Killua's mother and Illumi. So once again, we keep getting into there's the Butlers, and they're closer to some family members than others, but they still have to play the game in the family overall. I mean, it's, it's really, you know, very interesting. And, and then the... the just before, uh, actually, just before Killua is talking to, uh, I think her name's Amani, and uh, she she is she's like, look, we're all here to help you. We're all here to take you back. We're all here to keep you. Know, kind of went through the whole thing, doing the spiel, but I mean, you could tell that Killua was like, okay, this doesn't exactly fit within you know the parameters, and it's and it's all about me. It's all about saving me and not Aluka once again. So he he just keeps seeing, and I like even going back a bit into the car. You know, how he's waiting for different, if Saboni would have been there, then he, you know, because he knew how everything was going to play out. So, so he really is quite the schemer himself, okay, Killalai. So he really understands what other people are doing. It. It's, it's amazing. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of breakdown in this, in, in this episode, a lot of stuff going on. Now, Aluka, then we get to the whole thing when I stop. And, and, and Aluka's like, if I were gone, would everybody get along better? You know, I mean, look, it's like not blind, right? All the stuff that's going on. And Killa, if I was the only person in the world who truly loved you, would you be sad? Now, in a lot of writing, you would think they'd go, oh, no, everybody, 
cares about you, you know what's wrong, so and he he kind of gets to the truth. He's like, yeah, I am really the only person I love. You know, I mean, let's just get to it. And Luca has been locked up, right, in there with just dolls to play with and isolated and everything. So the reaction that Luca has is not surprising because I mean, you, now it's going up to you. the person interacting. Even the killer always cared that no, he's actually there to interact with her. And uh, I say her, get into the whole he and her. I just say her. And so now there's someone, you know, there as opposed to just being isolated, surrounded by toys. So, yeah. yeah. So it's a 100% increase in people that, that, that care about you that are actually there. I love you that are actually there. So that's, that would make people happy in general. And then, unless you're, uh, unless you're Paris. Then. But anyway, uh, set up for the Hosoka Goto fight, go to fight, however you pronounce it. Uh, it's great. I think. Uh, a lot of people were expecting it to go ahead and happen in this episode. But that's cool. Take your time. I want to. I want to enjoy it. We got the setup for it here. It's going to happen next time. It's going to be a lot of fun to see. A lot of fun in the anime. Bungie gum versus the coin machine gun. Right? You know, go to versus Hisoka. That's going to be awesome. Hisoka's confidence in his mind games already. The whole thing of using the bungee game and telling him, "Hey, this is how my powers work." And he's sitting there with his captured his coins. And all that, and <laughs> why? And go to was like you hack magician and all that, and and but I mean, come on, the mind games. Hisoka's like, why bother telling my name to someone that's gonna die? And that's where we leave off at. Like I say, we'll break down. Uh, we'll get into the hangout. I always leave a link below. It'll always be down there. You can go there. That that's where we can you can you can actually get in there. You ha you have to get a plug in and everything, but you can watch the hangouts. That's where they're at. Is on Steve's anime hangout channel over there. You'll see the link below. And if you go there, you leave some comments. Let me know you want to want to participate. You have something to say. You can actually be in the hangout. So we need to get more people on there. We are getting more people very slowly, but we're definitely getting people on that channel. Until next time, take care.